Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Meshing in ComSol Multiphysics. A few videos we have already uploaded in this particular playlist and I hope that those videos are helpful. I will be putting the link of the playlist in the description box so that you can watch those videos if you have already not done so. Today we will be talking about the option distribution. This is a very useful option and you can use this for your required cases. So I'll be talking about what exactly distribution is and when exactly you are actually going to use it. So we are trying to create some sort of geometry like this. Suppose we have a zone of interest here both the sides and we want a kind of finer mesh at this particular zone whereas the other meshes might be kind of coarse. So let me start from the beginning. So I will be taking no physics because working with meshing only. Now as you know initially what we do we take a geometry so for the time being let me take a square of say dimension somewhere around 0.4 and then I take a circle of radius say 1 this is too big I guess for this square so let me make it 0.6 so that it becomes comparable yes so the square is at the corner let me take it at the center so that it becomes symmetric so this is my simple geometry and as I have shown I want say this edges to be fine both the sides of the edges for that initially you have to go to mesh right click on it and you have to choose either free triangular or free quad whatever you want to use uh, let me try with both. Initially I start with the free triangle and once you choose the free triangle then you have to right click on it and from there you choose size and again you right click and you choose the option yes we can use this option distribution now from the side you can actually change I have already talked about those four options uh, among those semiconductor gives you the most fine or finest mesh and uh, if you are working with fluid dynamics it will give you a moderate kind of meshing and then again you have to you have options for normal fine and finer so let me arbitrarily take this option and I click on build all object now in the distribution I have to choose the edges suppose I want these two edges to be finer distribution initially I just click here and I click on build so you can see instead of becoming finer it is becoming coarser right because you have to play with this option that is number of elements how many number of elements you are actually allowing around this so exact quantification I don't know because this is inbuilt option available and there is no information about it but uh, we are not bothered about this what we are bothered about is what happens if we change this number suppose if I make it 500 and click on build all so what happens you can see around these two edges we get, we get very fine distribution. That day I was talking about say boundary layer simulation. So what happens in a boundary layer suppose this is a charged surface and you are trying to simulate for a boundary layer electrical double layer. So the electrical double layer thickness is very thin in the order of nanometer or something like this. So what you can do is I mean electrical double layer is in the order of nanometer but your entire geometry might be in the order of micrometer so there is a ratio of say 10 to the power 3 times so in those cases if you use distribution then you can get very fine geometry meshes not geometry 
very fine meshes around your desired point and that could be useful option to do your simulation so yeah now if i just change the option to now i delete it let me just see what happens if we try with quad meshes for this particular geometry so initially i build quad meshes right click and click on size so that i can play around with size uh, let me take fluid dynamics and extra fine for the time being so yeah this is the extra fine mesh now if you right click and click on distribution again this not this one these two edges and like the way we did 500 let's see what happens it is taking some time because of number of meshes I have chosen finer mesh yeah this is done you can see if we choose this free quad it is becoming like this it's very fine mesh inside this now let me just try with 50 this is how it is happening so you see when we worked with triangular meshes only our desired locations were kind of becoming more fine finer that is and uh, for this case if I change the number it is becoming finer but the thing is this entire geometry is becoming finer and that might not be my interest so if you just compare so this, here triangular mesh is fitting better than I mean in comparison to this quad meshes so this is how you can actually play around with the meshes and you can actually look for which kind of mesh will fit for your geometry but my experience is uh, if you work with triangular meshes for all your CFD simulations that works fine again I told you about the option plot so if I go to here and click on plot you see in this kind of mesh so there are some portions where kind of reddish nature you can see but it uh, but if it is triangular mesh then there will be no such reddish zone that means your triangular mesh gives you better compatibility but obviously if we just work with this square geometries then quad mesh will be the best mesh but if you are working with curved faces then might be your triangular mesh so today i stop here meanwhile i request you to subscribe to my channel so that we get motivation we upload more videos furthermore we are working on other topics like we have started a course on python we are working on vector algebra do watch those series if you feel like thank you